video, late evening walk in the park. With my enthusiastic daughter. She's very happy to be walking. She's moving aggressively across the tracks. It's getting late. So we gotta get home. But we gotta complete the walk. The truth is I don't think my daughter is enjoying this walk. We did about four or five miles already. And she is not enjoying the walk. I stay close to her. She starts with the pity party. I can't do it. We gotta do it because we gotta get to the car. We have about a uh, mile and a half to go. We got the bicycle people. We had the uh, runners, the strollers, the walkers. So there we go. And that's me, the enthusiastic host. And that's my daughter in the back. She is coming on with her long dress. She didn't ready for this. Every time I said, let's go to the park, she dodged me. Uh, my head hurts. Uh, not feeling too well. Well, I had to trick her into coming to walk. Well, let's go for a ride. And then we ride all the way to the park. And then we start walking. And she's like, what? You said we're just going to go for a drive. So I got to walk in front. If I keep up with her, sit next to her, she will never get nowhere. This is strategy. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Let's go, Amale. Show those long legs. Your mom gonna see you on the video. Very enthusiastic. Look at that, you see? All of a sudden you start walking like like that. We don't have long again to go. The car is right there. But we gotta get up. So it's not that bad. You did very well. You're gonna be proud of yourself when you get a rest. You go home, you take a shower. And I know you're gonna be sleeping for the next week. Well, you did a good job. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Gotta get off that phone. You gotta get off that internet sometime. Hey, little doggy. How you doing? What's your name? Hey, Spanky, that's a nice name. Yeah. Somebody care about you to give you that name. Yeah. His name is Spanky, am I? Yeah. So we're going up the hill. This is the hardest part of the walk. Going up this hill. Yep, yep, yep. Trying to make it out of this park before the I get darker than this. This is Brooklyn. You know? I don't like being in the park when it's really dark. Uh, the bikers, the bikers are doing their thing. I'm so, so good. Yeah, Molly, that's it. You see how she's moving aggressively now? I'm not next to him. Moving. Come next to her, she'll be like, oh, I can't do it. Dad, you're killing me. No. She might say, I'm mine, huh? Never again.
Oh boy. Got two bad legs, man. Got surgery on my legs. So you gotta know. But I ain't nothing. I complain. Gotta do it. Can't complain, man. I've been in the wheelchair for two and a half years. Needed help to get in the wheelchair and get out of the wheelchair. I used to pray and say, Ja, one favor. Just let me walk again. I wouldn't ask for anything. So I'm walking. I'm even doing a little jogging. See, I'm blessed. That's my girl, that's my girl, look at that. You see, slow down now. See, when I go watch you, you slow down. As soon as I start watching you, you slow down. You look like an athlete coming on there. Jeez. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Oh, and that park here, we play soccer there. And my feet was good, that was the spot right there. Soccer every Sunday. The guy said I still play, but... I can't. I can't do it. Right on the bike of that music passed me like three times already. Not playing. <sighs> Brooklyn Prospect Park. How much minutes we got there? Seven minutes. I'll do two more minutes of this. Ooh. What a day. So, One of the most important thing to do and, uh, is walking, running, like exercising. <laughs> Top five so things to do is to exercise i'd show it's in the top five i don't know if it's number one gotta be like number one what are the top five things to do that is the most important to stay alive top five things Where is my athlete? Here is my athlete. I'm the biggest fan. Come on, babe, I'm your biggest fan. Let's go. See? Stuff going in this park where I think is madness. It's like they're having a COVID party over there. See all these white shirts and people over there? It's like a COVID reunion or some shit. I'm gonna just stay here. I'm gonna just stay over here. I'm gonna stay away from all these people. Yes, sir. Mali Mali, you're the best, baby. You're the best. I like your enthusiasm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're almost there, the park is right there. Once you get out there, it starts right here. We gotta get out to the gate. See that COVID party over there? We gotta have a big screen. We're watching TV or something. 
I call it the COVID party. That's not what it is, but I feel that's what it is. They say get outside. So everybody get outside together. Not a good thing. Come on, straighten up your back. Straighten up your back. That posture could stay with you for too long, forever. You can walk and try to lean back a bit. We're there already. We don't walk this way. We're going to the corner. We start off by that building over there. That's where we came in from. And we went all the way around. That's a lot of mass. Ooh, look at people. Look at FIFA! What today is? Today's what? What's the day today, for mother? Thursday? Wow! Imagine on the weekend. Look at people in the park. Do you believe that's healthy? Tell me. I mean, uh, maybe I'm getting old. Is that healthy? Huh? Speak louder. You don't think so? You don't look so, right? But it looked like fun, but this is the park police right there. Oh yes, sir. Yeah, you need a park for the public wherever, whatever country you're in. The public should always have space dedicated to them, like a park. And you could ride your bike for at least five miles. Then you could have a picnic. That's so you know your leader's care. And they're not just going to sell everything off for everybody. You know, a leader scare. Do some city planning. They have a park, have lakes and stuff set aside so the people can touch it, can sell it. It's reserved. So, no matter what development comes, the people have. place to do their recreation if you want we could go through the bushes and jump over the fence and we'll be right by the car but we don't want to do that um, and then you have all kind of weirdos just hanging out in the park sometimes you have weirdos in there just hanging out with this you that could grab that's how the police come to it happens Deep in his horn for. Yeah. You want to do one more round, Molly? No. Wow. Why? Wow. It wasn't fun. When you was younger, Molly. When you was like, let me say, six years, five years. You came to the park one time. I doubt you could remember. And you was running around and around and around and around. And me and your mom was like, I think we got an athlete here. He was just going. And we was like, Amali, calm down. That's enough. I'm afraid you're going to hurt yourself, but you're going to fall out or something. And you was like, I don't want to stop. And you're going, and you're going, and you're going, and you're going. I could never forget that day. I was like, she got to stop now. Wait, hold on, we got to cross here. Don't cross yet. With the bike, watch around, look around. 
Hey, bicycle stomach. You gotta look for yourself or not. Make me look for you. Come on. So you have that athletic thing in you. But they gotta bring it out. See? Sometimes that's why they call it hidden talents. You know what hidden talents is? That's things you got inside of you. You don't even know it's there. But it's there. There's a superhero inside of you that is waiting to come out. And a superhero is saying, let me out of this body. I'm trapped. I know I'm a runner. I know I'm a doctor. I know I'm a scientist. Lord, please activate those brain cells. I need to get out and show what I world what I could do. That's what the superhero says. And there's some people like, I don't know what to do. I know I'm gifted. I know I'm talented. I know I'm the best. But something is holding me back. I wonder what it is. Usually it's just your brain that is holding you back. Because there's two what people call good angels and bad angels. I don't know if it's that. I don't know that. People say that, but I don't believe it's that. One of the angels saying, Hey, that's my girl. I'm your biggest fan. Another, yeah, yeah, right. She can do it. Another, and which one ever you listen to the most? That's what you be in life. The go getter or the go nutter. Whoever you listen to the most. So we finished with our walk for the day. And my baby is the best. I say, I'm going back to the car. And this is a vlog. I'm vlogging on my I'll put it up on YouTube. See if you can see all over the world. Beautiful Brooklyn. Brooklyn is a beautiful place. Well, just like that good angel and bad angel. We got it here. The bad angels and the good angels. See, anywhere there is good, there is bad. Doing your body too. You got good in your body and you got bad in your body. See? Yes, I. What going on? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Straight or the business coming? You need a business partner? Huh? You need a business partner? What kind of business at all? You talk your business. You take one table, me take another. Huh? You have money? Huh? The money I mean, Max, if you want a business partner, we split the business. Oh, no, we don't split business like that. What I mean? <laughs> Respect, Jed. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right, you too. See, you gotta meet people and talk to people, make them laugh. See, see when I was sick of Mali, I couldn't have the enthusiasm and the energy to walk from here today. Remember, I was in the wheelchair? And I was saying, Ja. Please make me just walk again. I just want to be able to walk. I want you to be helping me up and down and helping me off the bed and helping me to get down the stairs. And I'm walking now, so this is this is God's work. This is God's plan. You gotta enjoy it. Enjoy your life. Don't hold yourself back. You see when you hold yourself back? When you hold yourself back, when you get sick, if you ever was to get sick, God forbid, you're gonna be like, oh man, I wish I could do this simple thing again. Just like walking. Just like walking my father again. Just wanna walk with him again. You're gonna be praying to do the simplest thing that you think is not important. That's the stuff you wanna do the most. When you're sick and stuff, you don't ask for Man, I wish I had money. No, you say, all the money I have, I'll give it up to be well again. 
also being tools about life. That's my message. That's why I'm recording these things. You know, I don't know what could happen to me today or tomorrow. To go back and look at the video and say that was my father there. See? See, I've been enthusiastic about life. Yeah? Nothing is guaranteed. And I make the most of it. My daughter, I love you very much and I want to see you do, be the best person you could be. Alright? Be the person best you could be. Don't let nobody take advantage of you. Nobody. But be the best you could be. And the littlest things are the most important things. Seeing. Imagine you close your eye. Imagine people walking around in darkness. They can't see. People who can see the thing is easy. That's great. They take that for granted. They don't give thanks for that. If you look, you're not here, put your hand on your ear and see how it feels not to hear anything. People that cannot walk, they get a stroke and they can't move their hands. See, I give thanks, Molly. Let's walk up a little. The car is somewhere right there by that truck. Where's my car? Hey, somebody take my car, Molly. I can't see it. Let me see it, let me know, I can't see it. But they can't take that car without a key, right? Let me see if I can see it. Oh, yeah. You see that light blinking up there? That's it. This is the key. So, so that's where it is. Oh, man. It was a great day, Amali, with you. Every day with you is great. We did a good walk. One time I came to play soccer and I parked my van right there. Somebody broke into my van and they stole the whole van. I just came from playing soccer, jump over those fence, and we came. I'm like, where's your van? I'm like, where's my van? I know a park right there. They broke my van, and they took it. Everybody said to me, oh, call the police, call the police now. I'm like, man, I know where they took my van to. They're like, how oh, you know? I know what they do out here. So I said, give me a ride. Give me a ride over to Ditmas. That's what I have a lot of junk cars. They're going to take my car and try to sell it to the junkyard. And I went over there and I saw my car outside of the main junkyard shop. I said, see what I told you? I know what they're going to do. And he said, man, the tell you came to sell it and I told him I don't want it. So you have to be careful when you're parked by these parks. Yeah, we here, Molly. This is a car. He was walking to reach. Be careful, don't put your foot in any dog down. You gotta walk carefully. So we're here. End of video. End of video. Go open it. The door is open, I think. And I can move to the world.